The James Madison women's basketball team is not shy about scheduling tough non-conference opponents. They already played 12th ranked Tennessee and number 25 Villanova earlier this season. Today, the Dukes are taking on 13th ranked Florida State at the Convocation Center. JMU's last win against a ranked team came in 2014. The Dukes are looking to pull off the upset today. In the first quarter, Kelly Koshuda gets two of her team high 19 points. JMU leads 13 to 10. Midway through the second quarter, the Dukes trail by one. Logan Reynolds gets the steal and she heads up court for the basket and the foul. The three-point play puts JMU up 26 to 24. They're down by two with seven seconds left before halftime. Haley Barron hits the triple in the corner. James Madison leads the 13th ranked team in the nation 33 to 32 at the break. The Seminoles respond in the second half. Ama Dejbion gets the pass inside from the hoop and the harm. The three-point play puts FSU up 53 to 43. Logan Reynolds had a team high five assists for JMU. She will find Kamaya Smalls for the layup. Smalls had 16 points in the game. That cuts the deficit to seven. Dukes are keeping it close in the fourth. It's Smalls in the corner with her third three-pointer of the game. JMU trails by four, 62 to 58. They can't come all the way back. FSU's Shakela Thomas scores 10 of her game high, 26 points in the final quarter. F uh, FSU will pull away to win by a final of 79 to 63. What I hope we learn from today is that, okay, that's that's the bar you got to play right there. That that's the level of intensity. That's the level of um, focus. Uh, that's the level of passion you got to play with. When you guys are doing what you're supposed to be doing, you're as good as anybody. It also helps us to learn lessons on what we need to fix. So when we do play teams that aren't ranked, we won't go into them playing down to their level. We'll always play up because like, we know that we can hang with teams like Florida State and Tennessee. James Madison will be back in action at home against Liberty on Wednesday.